how to use the histogram scope in DaVinci Resolve, let's go. Okay, so this week we are looking at the histogram scope just here. As you can see, we're using the same image as last week for the waveform, just to uh, as a nice comparison. So as you can see, last week we looked at the waveform and we could read the image on the waveform from left to right. It gave us a nice overview of the brightness. And if we raise the gain, you could easily see where information and data was being lost. Now, if I change over to the histogram, you can see that this is showing you the data in a different way. And all the information is here on the left, which is the dark side of the image. Now, as you can see from here, instantly you can tell that data has been lost because it's been clipped. So we probably need a bit of a brighter setting to start with, uh, because if you've lost some data, then you can't get that back in the editing process. So zero, again, it's been read from left to right on this case. So zero is black, it's one, zero, two, three is white. Now if I select an image with a nicer, uh, a brighter initial range, as you can see, we've got a nicer histogram here with a nice spread of the data from uh, black to white as opposed to it being clumped on the left with black. Now I don't really use the histograms for actually editing, at least at this stage. If you have a way to use the histograms to edit, then please let me know in the comments below. But I just like to use this as well as the other scopes just to gain an overview of the data and what I'm dealing with. And then I can make a creative decision about what I'd like to do afterwards. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time.